here's a simple way of declaring arrays. Use the round brackets, and this is an empty array. And if you have more than one item, you just list them, and the list is separated by just spaces. To retrieve the second element of the Y array, we would use the index 1, and we would put it in brackets. Remember, Jack Daniels is 0, Budweiser is 1, Coors Light is 2. So, we use a 1. You understand why the dollar sign is there? You understand that most variables, it's better to use the curly braces instead of no braces at all? You understand why the Y is there? And then, this is the only thing that's different, the square brackets and the number. Okay, so let's save this. And run the script. Dot forward slash sample dot sh. And we got Budweiser. It's also possible to assign an array element directly and be actually jumping over some empty array elements. Like this. And here's how you would assign an element to the end of the array. So this would end up being element number with index 8, I assume. If instead of wanting to access one element of the array, I want to access the entire array, instead of an element ID right here, I would put an at sign. Let's see what that does. It did what we expected. It echoed out all the elements of the array. Remember the string manipulation that we did before? Okay, actually there's a mistake here. That syntax can also be used to retrieve elements of an array. This should retrieve the one before the last element, which is Miller Lite. Let's test it and see what happens. Actually, what it did is it got me the last two elements. I just want you to be aware that that syntax exists. You can also have associative arrays. In this case, you would have to use the declare statement with the A option, and it's a capital A. So you would declare the array, and then you would assign values to keys, like size is large. If your key has a space in it, then you need quotation marks. If your value has space in it, then you need quotation marks. I'm doing echo, the word my, then the size element of the array, which is large, and then the string house is located, and then the array element exact location, which is around the corner. All right, let's see what this looks like. I run the script. My large house is located around the corner. To make sure this is portable, verify that you have the most recent version of Bash, or else these types of arrays may not work. That's it.